Once again, welcome to the course. Next, I will guide you on search engine optimization, or SEO, today. This is a term you might have heard about when you learn online marketing, and I will teach you how to fully utilize this powerful tool to increase visitors to your site via search engines. If you don't really know what SEO is all about, let's get back to the basics. The way SEO works is by linking sites together and make them searchable online by using search engines. For instance, search engines such as Google and Yahoo. We often look for answers for any sort of questions from the internet by using search engines. So basically, SEO is the key to your answers. In order to get good results in SEO, you need to use the right keyword for search engines to direct users to your site. First of all, the keyword must be relevant to your content. This is probably the most important factor search engines take into account when they evaluate every site. It's better to have a relevant set of keywords related to your site than get penalized by search engines. The next criteria in keyword research is to determine the terms or phrases that are frequently searched in major search engines. Most of these keywords are highly competitive. Many established companies would always do their best to claim ownership over these keywords. Google provides a service called Keyword Traffic Estimator. It is a tool that tells you how many times a certain keyword is searched online. If you don't have the patience to wait because SEO can be a time-consuming process, you can always get traffic directly from Google AdWords. As I've mentioned in the earlier module, since Google AdWords is paid traffic, your ad will be shown at the top of the search results if you meet the quality and have relevant content. There are two types of SEO, on-page and off-page. On-page SEO is easier because you just need to optimize the contents on your site by inserting keywords directly on your web page. Off-page SEO is a little bit trickier you need to get quality links from other sites to point back to your site. There is a standardized format to do on-page SEO. Make sure you put the keyword in the title once, two to three times in the content, and lastly, place the keyword in your IMG alt tag. You don't need to mention the keyword very frequently in your title and content. It will seem redundant and your readers will be annoyed. The over-repetition would not create a good impression and it would be long-winded. The term IMG alt tag stands for image alt tag. It is a substitution text for an image. If the image cannot be viewed due to some internet issues, technical problem of the site, or the user has disabled images from loading on their browser, it will appear as a text description. When you put keyword in the IMG alt tag in your HTML, your image will appear in the image results page of the search engine. You need to put more effort on off-page SEO because it will be valuable for you to build your own links and increase traffic to your sites, but this is a time-consuming task. But do not give up easily on this. I will reveal some major ways to build off-page SEO. First, build a private blog network to increase your ad rank in Google Search. The private blog network can be extremely effective if you use it correctly. Post your articles in those sites and link to your affiliate sites. You might not get traffic right away, as it is a long-term risk. You must do it patiently to gain the trust of your readers. While you're working on your private blog network, post some comments in different blogs to promote your affiliate link. Do not spam, as it would leave a negative impression. A few years ago, article marketing worked more or less the same as a private blog network. You post your articles in other sites to increase your exposure to other marketers and readers that are interested in your niche. Now you know how SEO works, but you might be wondering, why SEO? How can SEO help you to build a mailing list? SEO will help drive traffic to your site massively if it's done right. When your traffic increases, more users who are looking for your service could find you easily through search engines, so more visitors will land on your site, resulting in an increase of subscribers for you. 